I first had one of these pumpkin wreath frames from Dollar Tree. And then I went ahead and grabbed a piece of cardboard. Go ahead and place that wreath frame on top of the cardboard and then just trace that out. Once you have the tracing out, go ahead and just grab a box cutter and just begin cutting that tracing out. Next, I grabbed some white acrylic paint and all I did was just kind of do a dry brush method all around the front of this cutout. I was okay with some of the cardboard peeking through because I wanted this to have a nice weathered look to it. Go ahead and allow that to completely dry. Grab some blue painter's tape and we are going to be placing the blue painter's tape going horizontally. So I just first placed a piece in the middle or the center of the pumpkin. Placed two more other pieces, one on the top, one on the bottom. And then that middle piece is going to be the spacer. So that way you could take that off, move it going down and up the pumpkin. And again, it is the spacer. So once you put the spacer down, put another piece of tape down. And this way you have nice straight and even lines. And once you have that completely put down, go ahead and grab some light gray acrylic paint and just start painting that in between those pieces of the blue painter's tape. Once that is filled in, you want to allow the paint to completely dry and then you could go ahead and start peeling off that blue painter's tape. Make sure you save those pieces of blue painter's tape because we're going to be reusing them for the next step. So now this time, we're going vertically onto the pumpkin, just doing the same method where you place the first piece in the center, two more beside it, and then that middle piece is going to be used as the spacer. So just continue adding more of that blue painter's tape all throughout the pumpkin until it is completely filled in. And then all you're gonna do is just add a little bit more of that gray acrylic paint. And then you want to allow that to completely dry. Now this part, you don't want to peel off that blue painter's tape. You want to keep that down. And all you're going to do is just add some more blue painter's tape going horizontally again, where you had originally placed those first pieces of tape down. And then for this part, you want to add your darkest color. So I just went in with jet black and just started filling in those squares that don't have any of the blue painter's tape put down. Then you go ahead and allow that to completely dry and then you're good to start peeling off that blue painter's tape. And now you just painted a buffalo check background. Next, I got this red vintage truck from Dollar Tree's fall section. And all I'm gonna do is find a good placement for it on the cardboard, use some of this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue, and just go ahead and place that right down. Allow this to completely dry for about 10 to 15 minutes, and look at how adorable this is. Next, I just grabbed some Spanish moss, and all I did was just hot glue some of the Spanish moss on the bottom of the truck. You then just want to grab that pumpkin wreath frame, Make sure it is completely aligned to the cardboard. And then you want to just begin hot gluing that wreath frame to the cardboard. And I did the hot glue in sections. So do one small section, hold the wreath frame down until that hot glue is completely cooled off, and then just move on to the next section until it is completely adhered on. I then just added some jute string to the stem of this pumpkin. So all I did was just tie it off to begin with, add some hot glue just to make sure it's not moving around. And then again, just begin wrapping it around the stem of that wreath frame. I then just grab some fall leaves from Dollar Tree, just place them right next to each other. Just make sure that the stems are facing each other, and then just held those together using a zip tie just for a more sturdy hold. 
found a good placement for that on the top of the pumpkin wreath frame. And then just used the mixture of that adhesive glue with some hot glue and just held that down until the hot glue was completely cooled off. And then I just made a bow off of my Easy Bow Maker and just glued that to the top as well. And there you go, guys. I am super happy on how this came out. It's super cute, fall, festive. I love it. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.